Hello YouTube, welcome to Steve's weekly vlog number 52. To kickstart this week's weekly vlog, I just want to wish my YouTube subscribers a happy Chinese New Year, uh, because today is Chinese New Year. Uh, so happy Chinese New Year to you guys. Uh, it's Saturday the 25th of January 2020 and it is currently around about quarter past 20 past five in the morning at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog and I'm currently on my way to work as I'm doing a 7 a.m. till 1 p.m. shift today. Just got into work on this Saturday morning, just about to have some breakfast for breakfast today. I've got a peanut butter uh, on toast and I've also got a flask of tea as well. Saturday afternoon, just got home from work and got out my work uniform and took Buddy out for a walk as well around the block. Now, I'm just heading off to the bus stop where I usually meet Kirsty because obviously I'm going to meet Kirsty. So it is Saturday night, I have got home from seeing Kirsty and today we went to Weatherspoons together to have some lunch. Um, I had a barbecue burger with chips and onion rings with a pint of Pepsi Max Cherry and she had a dry through burger with onion rings and chips and she had a glass of pink gin as well with her lunch which you know anyway so the burger was really nice Re I had a really nice lunch and she had a really nice lunch um, and we had a walk as well along Bournemouth Gardens, Bournemouth Lower Gardens, we had a walk through there and we went to the cinema to watch 1917 which by the way was a really really good film can I just add. Uh, it felt like a film where the camera was literally just shooting the entire near 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 on two hours uh, of the film in just one take honestly it was just one of those like one shot camera type films honestly it really was really good um yeah the the performances in that film were absolutely amazing as well um and it's based on true life events uh it's based on the director sam mendez's uh granddad because he was in the war in 1917 so you know so it kind of felt like as if it was being told from his perspective and stuff like that but you know it was a really good film anyway uh, if you do want to watch uh, 1917 then you can do as it is available right now in cinemas at the time of recording this weekly vlog. Um, so there we go and then after we went to the cinema Kirsty wasn't feeling too good so um, we got on the bus and I took her back to her, her house so or flat should I say because she lives in a flat. Um, so yeah honestly it was just really really nice you know really nice afternoon out once again with her and stuff and i don't know i'm we're just seeing how things go you know i mean we've got a lot of interests you know like the same interests and stuff i mean i'm just seeing how things go and how how we take things and just let it all happen naturally and and stuff you know there's no rush or anything like that we're just we're just seeing what happens honestly let's look at the official top 10 charts for this week which is the 24th of january to the 30th of january 2020 so at number 10 is someone you loved by lewis capaldi number nine is a new entry but uh with eight mile by uh dig that featuring h um or h i think that is uh number <laughs> Number eight is Roxanne by Arizona uh, Zervis. Number seven is Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa. Number six is Life Is Good uh, by Future featuring Drake. Number five is Before You Go by Lewis Capaldi. Number four is Blinding Lights by Weekend. Number three is Own It by Stormzy, Ed Sheeran and Burner Boy. Number two is The Box by Roddy Rich. And finally, number one, it's a new entry, is Godzilla by Eminem featuring juice wrld anyway that is your uh, official top 10 charts for this week and of course this feature will be back in next week's weekly vlog okay i've got my headphones here and my flask which i take to work which i'm just going to currently move and just put into my work bag now on this saturday night it's time for me to get into my pajamas just put my bluetooth headphones on charge 
Okay, let me just go into my clock and into my alarm. So I've got to set my 4.55 alarm, my 4.57 alarm and my 4.59 alarm. There we go, they're all set. Look, I decided to set me and um, my friend Kirsty as my uh, phone wallpaper. Look at us both. <laughs> just about to shut my curtains. There we go, all shut. And now I'm just about to turn my light off. Good night. Good morning, it's Sunday morning and it's currently quarter past five at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog and I'm currently walking to work. Just let you know that hopefully, if I don't see Kirsty today because depending on how she feels, if she's still feeling a bit ill and stuff and I don't see her today then hopefully I will see her on Wednesday when I have a Weatherspoons breakfast with her once again um, and if I do have a Weatherspoons breakfast with her once again on Wednesday this week then hopefully a little bit later on in the weekly vlog you guys will finally get to see Kirsty on my weekly vlog just got into work for breakfast today. I've got peanut butter on toast with banana, orange, and a flask of tea. Sunday afternoon, just got home from work and I'm just about to top my chinchillas food and water up in their cage. Just about to get out my work uniform. Okay, I might as well vlog this part before I go because it's really wet outside and I don't want to get my camera wet, but I'm just on my way now to go and see Kirsty. So, I am at Kirsty's house. Here's Kirsty. Hello. How are you? All right. Not too bad. How are you? I'm all right. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we decided to stay in your house today. Well, flat, didn't we? Because it's raining outside and it's too wet, and you're not feeling too good. <laughs> and then you're just like, mmm. <laughs> But I'm not really with it today. No. So we thought, why not stay in, just watch some TV on the sofa, watch a bit of Friends and all of that. Mm. And all that jazz. All that jazz and just, yeah. Just. And here I feel like breaking into song. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so finally you guys have finally got to meet Kirsty. Which is, you know, I mean, because I have said loads of times, Oh, I've met up with Kirsty today, this is what we've done. And now I'm finally vlogging with you. So, and yeah. <laughs> so hopefully she'll be appearing in a lot more weekly vlogs that I do. Who and knows? Stuff. Who, yeah, who knows? Who knows what, what, will, what will happen. But, um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm with Kirsty. Hi. <laughs> Again. <clears throat> um... Kirsty made me a cup of tea. It's even better than what, when I make my own tea. Kirsty, I'm going to tell you something. And this is on my vlog, by the way. Right? You make an even better cup of tea than what I do. Than what when I make my own. Okay. <laughs> it's true. You do. Honestly. Well, that is the first time I've ever had that. <laughs> my family screw up. My ex is coming to Oh, did you? Mm hmm Oh. Well, you... Honestly, that was perfect, though. <laughs> Delivery! <laughs> <laughs> we got pizzas. Do you want a glass? Yes, please. I'll have a glass. Whoa. That's the size of the box. These are the hot dog bite bites. Bite bites. When they are bite bites. <laughs> <laughs> what? What was that? You get more. I said you seriously get more in pay for one. Yeah. They know how to make their money, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Little hot dog bite bites. Hmm. <laughs> it's actually quite nice. Mm. Very nice. Ah, uh, and now for the big reveal. Whoa, look at this pizza. Look at this pizza. You're looking at it like, whoa, that's big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pizza, all right. Oh, that pizza's literally just filling, <laughs> filling up the plate. Is it nice? Very really nice? Lovely. Mmm. Mmm. Damn, this is good pizza. 
Mmm. You chose well. I chose well? Oh yeah. I, I did choose the pizza. <laughs> Got some onion rings as well, which Kirsty said were anemic. <laughs> Sunday night, got my Pepsi Max on my way home. Uh, I'm just walking back from uh, Kirsty's flat. Um, well, it's not her flat, it's her mum's flat, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, it was really, really, I really did enjoy this afternoon, this evening. You know, we just sat down, watched Friends, and Watched a bit of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 together, had some pizza, had a chat, had a laugh, you know? It was just really nice and it just was nice that I was there to comfort her while she was not feeling too good as well. So, you know, just really nice, really enjoyed this afternoon and I can't wait to see her again soon. It's currently 10 o'clock in the evening on this Sunday night and I'm currently taking Buddy out for a quick walk around the neighbourhood. For dinner tonight I've got chicken, stuffing, roast potatoes and some mixed veg. Good morning, it is Monday morning, it's 7.39 at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. I've just woke up and I am now, I've just put my uh, batteries on charge. Now on this Monday morning, I'm just about to have a shower and get dressed. Let's open my curtains on this Monday morning and see what the weather's doing outside this morning. It's looking a little bit damp and a little bit cloudy. Just about to sign into my MacBook. So I've been listening to um, some songs by Nathan Sykes, um, which he released an album a few years ago. I think, I believe he's a, he's one of the, um, guys from the band The Wanted or something like that anyway and obviously he went on to become a solo star um, and basically he did this album a few years ago and there's a song on this album called Over and Over Again which ever since I listened to it yesterday I've just had it stuck in my head you know and it didn't help because when I was with Kirsty yesterday I told her this and she decided to play the song. And the funny thing is, is when it got to the chorus, when he sung over and over again, like he does, over and over again. I, I, I literally sung as well. I sung with it. I was just like, over and over again. <laughs> oh God, that was funny. Just put my Bluetooth headphones on charge. Just made myself a cup of tea on this Monday morning. Now on this Monday morning, I'm just about to have some breakfast and for breakfast today, I've got cereal, which is chocolate pillows. Now watching season 21, episode one of The Simpsons on my iPad. Monday morning, I'm outside. I'm currently walking to the bus stop over at Cooper Dean Roundabout as I'm just about to catch the bus to go to my sister's house as I've got to give her some bits. Hello, JJ. JJ. Hello, boy. Oh, Jay. Monday afternoon, just got back from seeing my sister and I have just put the dishwasher on. Monday night, it's around about 10 past six at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog and I've not long just woke up from having a nap on the sofa. Uh, I did catch up with Doctor Who and I also, well, I end up having a nap whilst watching The Nutty Professor on uh, Netflix. Anyway, the dishwasher has just finished, so I'm now just about to empty the dishwasher. So it is Monday night. I have just got off a video call with Kirsty, as we had a video call tonight. Anyway, I am now just about to uh, turn my camera around as I'm just about to shut my curtains. There we go. My curtains are shut. I'm going to put some Netflix on, I think, for a little bit. Put my fan on just to keep my room to normal temperature. There we go. Waiting for my TV to fire up. And I'm just going to have my drink very quick. Mm. Good tea. There we go, right. I am all ready for bed. Anyway, I've got into my pyjamas as well. 
So without further ado, I'm just about to switch my light off and head to bed. Good night. So it is uh, Tuesday afternoon. I've just got home from work after doing a 7 a.m. till 4 p.m. shift. I do apologize, by the way, because I left my camera at home. I was going to vlog this morning on my way to work and show you guys what I had for breakfast, although you probably knew what I had for breakfast if I was at work because it's the same thing every day I'm at work pretty much, so there we go. Um, but I was going to vlog, but obviously I only realised as I left my house this morning that I left my camera on my bed at home, which is why I didn't vlog this morning. Anyway, so I am now home from work after doing a 7am till 4pm shift today at work and now I'm just about to get out of my work uniform and give my friend Bryony a video call via WhatsApp. Just made myself a cup of tea. Okay, so I just want to talk to you guys uh, about my blog because I have recently come back to uh, doing some blog posts um, and I've got some blogs which have been going up on my website steve-official.com uh, throughout this week and there are more still yet to come. Um, so I'm going to talk you through the blogs that are that I've got on my website which have recently been posted onto my website um, and I'm going to start with let me go into the WordPress there we go uh, I'm going to start with the recent ones that I've been posting so I have posted um, four days ago which was Friday yeah Friday after my weekly vlog uh, was uh, put up on YouTube I did a review of Halsey's uh, new album called Manic uh, so that's up on my website right now, so please check that out if you get a f few minutes. Um, there's also another review which I posted on Saturday uh, at 6pm, which was Gabrielle Aplin's Dear Happy album review. So that's up there now as well. Um, and then on Sunday night at 6pm, I posted onto my website the Selena Gomez Rare album review. So that's also on my website. Um, and then yesterday I posted at 6pm UK time, I posted Harry Styles' Fine Line album review, which is obviously on my website now. And literally at the time recording this, about 20 minutes ago now, a new blog post has just been posted onto my website, steve-official.com. Uh, which is the Simpsons Season 19 DVD box set review, okay? So please check those uh, blog posts out if you do get a spare few minutes of your time, okay, to give them a read. Uh, I have got more blog posts being uploaded onto my website this week. In fact, I might as well tell you now uh, so you can go and check them out because they will be up on my website by the time this weekly vlog uh, goes out anyway. So tomorrow I've got a blog post going up which is the Pet Shop Boys' Hotspot album which came out last Friday, by the way. I did give it a listen over the weekend and it is really a really good album to be honest anyway and i have reviewed that and it will be the review will be up on my website tomorrow so it will be available for you guys to go and view now um and then on uh thursday i've got my eminem music to be murdered by album review that's going up on thursday um and then on friday i'm doing a movie review which is based on the movie 1917 which i went and saw uh at the weekend which obviously you guys know about from earlier on in the weekly vlog um so that review will be going up on friday um and then obviously i've got uh next week which i might as well tell you about now but i will remind you in next week's weekly vlog that they have gone up okay um, um, but I've also got uh, three more movie reviews coming up, uh, which are Bad Boys for Life, The Grudge and The Turning. All right, Those three movie reviews will be going up on my website on Saturday, Sunday and Monday. I'll tell you more about it in uh, next week's weekly vlog. So please check out steve-official.com right now to check out my recent album and dvd and movie reviews that have recently gone up there Fortnite uh, chapter 2 season 2 release date has been announced for february 20th 2020 
Brooklyn Nine-Nine's sixth season has finally landed a release date on Netflix UK. The streaming giant's official uh, UK Twitter account confirmed that season six will drop on the streaming service on March 28th. Just letting guys know, coming up later on in this weekly vlog, in fact, you'll see it very, very soon, uh, I've got a very important announcement to make, um, and it's to do with next week's weekly vlog, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so it is Tuesday night, and I'm just about to get my coat on, uh, as I'm just about to take Buddy out for his last walk of the night, uh, just around the neighbourhood, so I'm just about to do that right now. Okay, I've just got back from taking Buddy for a walk and now I'm just about to have a shower and get into my pyjamas. Okay, so it's Tuesday night, it's nearly midnight and I'm just currently putting my bag um, behind, well, on my coat here. I'm just going to put it there. There we go. Uh, I've not long got off video call with Kirsty. Um, she's doing alright anyway. Um, I will be... Uh, seeing her tomorrow actually so hopefully I'll vlog that and you guys will be able to see that mm -mm. don't mind me just drinking my tea anyway um, but yeah now it's coming up to midnight so time for me to head off to sleep as I've got an early start tomorrow see you in the morning Look at that sunrise, oh wow. Good morning, it is Wednesday morning. We're halfway through the weekly vlog and halfway through the week. Um, now, I'm not walking to work, no. Um, I am on my way to go and see Kirsty at Weatherspoons, uh, the Parklands and the Heatherlands, I think it's called, um, in Winton, uh, in Bournemouth. Uh, obviously, I went and had breakfast with her last week on Wednesday. So, and once again, I thought I might as well have breakfast with her again today. So, that's what I'm going to do. Now, I've got a quick announcement to make, and I'm going to make it very quick, okay? Um, because next week's weekly vlog, which is weekly vlog number 53, I am going out for the afternoon, on Saturday afternoon, with Kirsty. We're going off to Southampton for the afternoon. Yeah! <laughs> um, so, that'll be really exciting. Um, to see what we get up to in Southampton together. Um, it'll just be nice to spend the afternoon uh, with her and have a wander around Southampton. It's a different place. It's not Bournemouth, you know, it's just it's just somewhere different, you know, so so that's exciting. So that so you'll be able to see that in uh, next week's weekly vlog, which is uh, weekly vlog 53 um, at the beginning of the vlog. So do watch that um, but anyway as I was saying I am on my way I'm gonna walk to Winton from my house good hour but I've got some music I'm listening to Pet Shop Boys at the moment on my Bluetooth headphones and yeah so I'm just about to head off and have some breakfast with Kirsty so I'm in the Parkstone and Heavens pub in uh, Weatherspoons in Winton and this is what I have got Look at that, latte, yum. Uh, I've got my large breakfast and Kirsty has got Egg Royale? Yep. Egg Royale. <laughs> How are you by the way? Dying. <laughs> Too sick? Yes. Aww, bless you. Egg Royale. <laughs> and she's also got a cranberry juice as well. Yeah, it's like to keep me awake. For hours. Yeah, until I go back to work. Yeah. <laughs> what did you get? <laughs> An ultimate burger. Look at that ultimate burger for lunch today. <laughs> I'm hungry. You're hungry? Yeah. I've been ill in the past couple of days. Hmm. So I'm making up for it. By having an ultimate burger? Maybe. <laughs> Wednesday afternoon and I'm just uh, just got off the bus and I'm just walking down the road to my house now as Kirsty has unfortunately gone back to work. I just wish I could have spent all day with her but oh well. 
Just got home on this Wednesday afternoon after seeing Kirsty, and now I've just made myself a cup of tea. Good morning, it's Thursday the 30th of January 2020, it's Thursday morning, it's currently 8.35 at the time recording this part of the weekly vlog. I have just got out of bed and before I do anything else it is time for us to have a look and see what's going on outside my bedroom window this morning. It is looking a little bit wet, a little bit cloudy and it's just not really a good day to be honest uh, so there we go so that is what's going on outside my bedroom window this morning um, I'm going to be getting dressed in a second but first of all though I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the movie The Grudge uh, which is a 2020 movie it's not the original Grudge movies that came out in the early 2000s um, because there, uh, there is a movie that is out in cinemas uh, called The Grudge um, and it's not a sequel it's it's not a reboot, not a remake, it's as what Carl, uh, Mark Comer, um the uh, film reviewer, has said it is, it's a side quill. And that's what it is apparently um, but it's supposed to be, it is a really really good film though I'm not going to lie I did go and see it last night uh, there was a couple of jumpy scenes in it and you know what again the same film reviewer Mark Comode, um he he said that the, with this movie it's dark 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 scary in your face dark 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 scary scary face um, and he is right he is right there you know um, it has got a lot of dark elements to it um, you know and to be honest with you and I'm not gonna give anything away here other than there is a really big twist something big happens on screen literally within the last few minutes of the movie and I don't know maybe it does set it up Whatever happens on, on the screen, um, it kind of it gets left like as if it's on a cliffhanger, really, what happens. Um, so I don't know whether or not that's actually setting up for a sequel or not. I mean, I don't know. But, um, I mean, to be honest with you, it was a really good movie. Really scary in some places, um, you know, and there was, like I say, a few jumpy scenes in it. So, uh, if you do want to go and check out uh, The Grudge 2020, it is available to watch in cinemas right now. And by the way, just to let you know, on my uh, blogging website, steve-official.com, on Saturday the 1st of February 2020 at 6pm UK time, uh, you guys can check out my full review of The Grudge 2020 on there as well. Anyway, so going back to today, it is Thursday morning and I am just about to get dressed. It's Thursday morning and I've just made myself a cup of tea and also on this Thursday morning I'm just about to have some breakfast and for breakfast today I've got some chocolate pillow cereal. Thursday afternoon and it is 12.40pm at the time recording this part of the weekly vlog. Um, I've just got back from uh, Bournemouth BH2 because I went to Odeon Cinemas. I'll tell you what I went and watched. I went and watched The Turning. Now, before I tell you my views of The Turning, all right, I want to tell you something. So I got there at 10 o'clock um, and the obviously the previews to so like the adverts and the movie trailers and stuff like that they were supposed to start at 10 a.m right the screen the big screen that is right in front of you at the cinema was not switched on there was music like little faint music being played from like various movies and stuff but the screen wasn't switched on or anything like that. So I had to leave screen seven, which was where the screening took place. I had to go down the escalator and tell the manager. The manager came up the escalator with me and she used her walkie talkie uh, to talk to someone who was in the projection room to see if the movie was being played for screen seven. Anyway, by the time I got back into screen seven, the movie, well, there was movie trailers being played on the screen which weren't too bad anyway so there's that and secondly I technically had screen 7 all to myself it was like a private screening for me and me only and the reason why is because there was no one else in the cinema but me watching the turning honestly uh, anyway let me tell you a little bit about the turning because 
It was quite an interesting film, to be honest. There was a couple of funny lines in the movie, I'm not going to lie. Um, especially with uh, Flora, her name was, the little, the little girl in the film. She was quite funny. Um, and... It was based on this movie about this woman called Kate who becomes a nanny for this family uh, whose mum and dad passed away from an accident uh, that happened just outside the gates of the house. Um, and it's just a movie really about some weird goings on that happens around the house. You know, it's a little bit like uh, paranormal activity really, you know. Uh, but except you do get to see these ghosts um, really. So... And also as well, Miles, who is uh, the older brother of um, of Flora, um, he's very creepy and very weird. But, you know, anyway. But to be honest with you, it was a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. There was a few scary parts about it. It is a horror film. Um, and it is available to watch right now at uh, your local cinema. So please go and check that movie out. It is called The Turning. And just to let you know, uh, that uh, on Sunday the 2nd of February 2020 at 6pm UK time I will have a blog post up for The Turning so please do check out my full review uh, of my of The Turning uh, movie review via my website which is steve-official.com on Sunday the 2nd of February 2020 at 6pm UK time. ITV News presenter Alistair Stewart has stepped down from his presenting duties on ITV News after an error of judgment on social media. He's been working at ITV for over 40 years. GTA 6 is all but confirmed to be in the works with a whole host of rumours leaking out. Uh, the latest of which comes from a 3D game artist who has listed GTA 6 car modelling on his CV. Britain will leave the EU tomorrow at 11pm UK time. That is happening tomorrow. Brexit finally will be happening tomorrow at 11pm UK time. Just about to empty the dishwasher and then refill the dishwasher as well. It's Thursday afternoon I've just made myself a cup of tea. It's 10 to 2 on this Thursday afternoon at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. I'm just about to have some lunch. For lunch today, I've got bacon flavoured instant noodles. I don't know why, but it feels like a really long time since I had instant noodles. It's 5 past 2 on this Thursday afternoon at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. I've just put the dishwasher on after washing up all the bits that I used for lunch. I've just put that in the dishwasher and put the dishwasher on. Now though, I'm just about to clean out my chinchillas cage. Watching season 21 of The Simpsons on my iPad and I've also made myself a cup of tea. It's Friday morning, I've just got back from Aldi and this is what I brought this week at Aldi. I brought some roasted salt ca uh, salted cashew nuts, 12 Jaffa cakes, some Titan cake bars which are technically Mars cake bars technically. I also brought some mini rolls, some barbecue flavoured potato snacks which are like Aldi's own version of Pringles, some lightly salted tortilla chips, some cheese puffs, some bacon rashers, a mango and passion fruit smoothie, an orange juice with no bits, and a chocolate fudge flavoured milkshake. There we go, that is everything that I brought this week at Aldi. It's Friday morning and it is Brexit day, that's right, at 11 o'clock tonight here in the UK, the Britain will be leaving the EU. It's Friday morning and I've just put my headphones on charge. It's Friday afternoon. I have just got back from seeing my support worker, Johnny, and of course my friend Ben. Uh, today we just went to Weatherspoons, had some breakfast, and we just done the usual pretty much, uh, which was um, just going off to Sharkies and playing a game of FIFA uh, together. So there we go. Um, anyway, I'm going to be seeing my support worker again on Thursday next week, but I'm not going to be seeing Ben though unfortunately next week so I'm gonna be seeing my support worker and said I think we're just gonna to go to the cinema next week so I think that's what we're gonna do so there we go anyway um, so yeah so that's what I've done um, up until now okay it's that time of the weekly vlog now where I take a look and show you guys how many steps I've done this week so without further ado 
let's take a look at how many steps I've done from last Friday right up until yesterday, which was the 30th of January. Let's take a look at this. Let's start with last Friday, which was the 24th of January 2020, and I uh, walked 10,829 steps. The 25th of January, I did 25,490 steps. The 26th of January 2020, I did 23,127 steps. On the 26th, 27th of January 2020, I did 2,897 steps. 28th of January 2020, I did 25,515 steps in total. On the 29th of January 2020, I did 12,556 steps in total. And finally, on the 30th of January 2020, which was yesterday, I did 5,961 steps. And how many steps returns to my weekly vlog again at the end of next week's weekly vlog. An Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch theme, uh, well, Animal Crossing themed Nintendo Switch console, should I say, uh, is going to be released in Europe on March 20th, which means, of course, it will be coming to the UK as well um, on March 20th. Nintendo have announced that they have no plans whatsoever to bring out a brand new Nintendo Switch model this year, despite rumours recently claiming that Nintendo, uh, Nintendo are going to be planning to be bringing out their Nintendo Switch Pro during summer 2020. ITV have announced when Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway is back on our TV screens. Uh, Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway will be back in February 2020, although a confirmed official date is yet to be announced at some point. But a trailer has been posted online for the return of Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway in February 2020. That advert will be appearing on TV screens from tomorrow night. Uh, obviously Ant Deck Saturday Night Takeaway was last on air uh, back in 2018 but took a year off last year following Ant's uh, rehab and stuff like that. Uh, but it's been promised that this series, the 2020 series, is going to be bigger and better than before. So really cannot wait to watch Ant and Deck's um, Saturday night takeaway when it comes back in February 2020. Okay, I was just checking Snapchat just now and someone's posted a Snapchat story of this TikTok user who's just recently found a Google hack, which I'm going to show you guys now. Okay, so here we go. This is my phone. Okay, I'm on Google. So that's what you need to do first is head on to Google. Then if you search, I'm going to search, I'm going to do it the same way the person done it on the uh, TikTok story thing. Uh, so I'm going to search for this. Okay, I'm going to search for chicken run. And at the end, you're going to need to put in Google Docs. Now, believe it or not, it actually says in one of the search engines, uh, on the search suggestions, um, it says it there, look, Chicken Run Google Docs, but if you don't see it there, just type Google Docs at the end of it, okay? Then what you're going to need to do is, if you have the Google Drive app, that's fine, it will open, okay? You're going to need, like, this one here, the top one, okay? As long as it says Chicken Run um, you know, Google Drive, Google Docs, and it says sign in here, then that's fine. But anyway, I'm going to press on it. It's going to ask me to open in Drive, so I'm going to open it. There we go. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my phone around like that, right? And then what will come up? Look at this. This is the entire movie of Chicken Run on my phone. Look. I don't know, look, one hour and 24 minutes. And if you don't believe me, if you really don't believe me, when it comes up, there we go. I'm going to scroll. I want to scroll it. Come on, scroll, scroll. There we go. Look, if you don't believe me, although saying that, I don't, I think this, this movie is um, in foreign. I'm not going to lie. There are some movies, though, that you literally you can do it with a lot of movies. Just search the movie up on Google and just put Google Docs in the end of it and it will come up. But, um, 
yeah literally there we go so that that is literally the entire chicken run although to be honest with you it is in different language but i'm sure there are movies out there though via google docs which probably is the full movie but in english you know who knows um but there we go so that is chicken run um but yeah that's that's a little hack that i just found uh via a snapchat story based on tiktok there is a movie, by the way, I literally just found, which was Terminator 2 on Google Docs. Okay, so if you search Terminator 2 Google, Google Docs uh, onto Google, it does actually come up, and there is an English version of Terminator 2. Anyway, so there we go. So like I say, that is a little hack that I found via a Snapchat story based on TikTok earlier. And there we go, that is the end of another weekly vlog. So thank you very much indeed for watching. If you have enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below uh, uh, below this video if you have not yet subscribed to me. Loads more great things coming up for you. Uh, next week, I will be going off to Southampton uh, with the very lovely Kirsty. Absolutely lovely person. She really is, honestly, absolutely amazing. And she makes me laugh as well. So, so glad that I met her, um, honestly. Anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, so I am off to uh, Southampton with the really gorgeous Kirsty. Um, that's coming up in next week's weekly vlog. So please check that out because honestly, we're going to have a great adventure together. I'm pretty certain of it. Um, also as well, I might talk a little bit about Brexit maybe. I don't know in next week's weekly vlog, depending on what happens tonight. Obviously, uh, at the time recording this, tonight at 11pm UK time, uh, obviously Britain will be leaving the EU and that means we are our very own independent country. We won't need the EU anymore. Um, anyway, and other than that, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching and I will see See you guys with weekly vlog number 53 uh, next Friday, which is Friday, February 7th, 2020. From me, though, it's goodbye. Thanks for watching. See you next week.